So we got to get to our uh, PFF simulations yeah. here. PFF allowed us to uh, start using their beta test of their season simulator. So we ran seven simulations for the Browns' upcoming season. Mm -hmm. We got some pretty good variants here. There's some good, some bad, and some in between. So we're going to go through these seven simulations, spend a minute or two on each one, see how realistic we think they may be. So All here's right. how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you their record. Then I'm going to go over some of the player stats. They only give us quarterback, running back, receiver. And then we'll chat real quick. That worked right. for you guys? Let's go. Simulation number one. I like PFF this. has the Browns going 7-10, and 10, losing their first two games of the season, then getting hot in the middle for a little bit. I mean, Getting hot in the middle. They I lose mean, four I out of called, six I meant, I meant called they lose four in a <laughs> row, and they lose six of seven in the middle. Jeez. Get hot towards the end. But overall, a 7-10 and 10 season. And in this scenario, Steve, you take the player grades next. We Watson throws for 4,400 yards, zone. 26 touchdowns. Nick Chubb runs for 1,212 yards. Cooper and Njoku combined for 1,500 yards. But overall, not a great first I mean, those stats are pretty good. Why? DPJ How do they win? got six of them things. Oh, he, getting, well, he ain't getting paid, but he... Amari know. Cooper only 800 yards? Wait a second. Where's, has, where's Elijah Moore? He ain't even This is all they give you. I, I don't have the what answer What is the, the Sean Watson's yardage? Uh, 4,400. 4, 4, 4, How do you have 4,400 yards and nobody has more than 810 yards receiving? That doesn't make any sense. He's like this just, is a beta test simulator. I, do have have I love you, but this will just in Herbert. Maybe slappy. Elijah Moore. Maybe Elijah Moore got <sighs> six hundred. I, they got like four guys with between six so, and eight hundred. Yeah, but that's he's still that averages to seven hundred. That's twenty eight hundred. Where are the other sixteen hundred yards coming from? That's tough. They got us losing Anthony to Schwartz. the Cardinals. Oh man, seven and ten. Now Shoot this me is, dead this is not them. This is a computer simulation. Computer. So. And there we did seven. All seven are different. All right. All right. So you ready for the next one? Yeah. This is simulation two. How about a 10-7 and seven record here? Yeah, we'd like that. They lose to the Bengals to start, then they reel off four straight wins. They lose to the Cardinals again in this one. Damn, they lose four out of and five. And they lose two in a row, but and they do win five us later in the season. In this simulation, Deshaun Watson threw for 4,900 yards and 35 touchdowns. Woo. Nick Chubb rushed for 1,409. That's what I'm talking about. Amari Cooper That's what I'm talking about. There's touchdowns. Moore. And Elijah Moore. This is his highest of all the projections, 60 yeah. interceptions. This is where we're supposed to be. I mean, that's, yards. that's a great <laughs> year. The interceptions are a little high for Watson at okay. 13. But if he throws 35 touchdowns, hey. I can live with 13 hey. interceptions. Hey, listen, 4,800, 35. And by the way, look at the touchdowns. 1,100, look at this distribution. And by the way, Nick Chubb scores almost 10 touchdowns and has 1,400 on the ground? Damn. 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 Hey, I was working. I'll take that. I mean, with that. those stats, they'll probably win more than 10 games. They wouldn't. I, and with those stats, they would not lose to the Cardinals, and they would not lose to Indianapolis. I don't care what y'all say. Yeah, it'd be odd to lose to both of them. Especially. Yeah, like, and then They're to beat San teams. Francisco, then to lose to them teams. They won't, I mean, they won't even, have, right, they won't even right. have Kyler Murray at the time. So, what are we talking about? Hey, man, I, I'll take the 10 and 7 because that, that looks Kyler like, Murray should have played baseball. Yeah. That was wow. Deshaun Watson's the A's, highest the yardage percentage, yeah, best by player, the way. Right? Yeah. Second best. Go ahead. What? That was Watson's highest yardage projection. All right. All right. So he didn't break the 5,000 any of these but seven. close. Right. Simulation three. Gee, you're going to like this one. How about 11 and six? Ooh, okay. They end the season on fire with five straight wins. Woo! They lose to San Francisco. They lose to the Rams in this one. A little odd. But when you look at the player stats, G. Bush, I got something you're going to love here. You ready? 4,800 yards, 34 touchdowns for Watson. How about 1,600 yards on the ground for Chubb and 662 wow. in the air for a grand total of 2,266 yards. <laughs> That's Nick Chubb is Nick, Nick Chubb is turning into a receiver. He does these turns. Nick Chubb has 662 <laughs> receiving Damn. yards and four touchdowns. If he goes, I'll tell you right now. If he rushes That's for MVP. 1,600 yards, five, 15 touchdowns, and catches 662. Receiving yards and four touchdowns, he's winning MVP. I'm about to say that's not Mike MVP just had to go embarrass himself on national TV. Uh, you don't think a running back would ever no, 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 no running backs <laughs> win an MVP. Not with even the, with 2,200 with total no, yards, 19 stats. touchdowns. I mean, I've seen Derrick Henry. With an 11, Derrick Henry six. got 2,000. Derrick Henry win. rushed for over 2,000 yards. He didn't win MVP. Running backs can't win the MVP because they're not as important as the quarterbacks. What? There's no planet. Where a running back's more important than a quarterback. You, uh, well, you would have did to Adrian get. Adrian Peterson win MVP. Yes. I think he was the yes. last one. He did, yes. Okay. That he, was a you, while ago. Though. You would have to. You, here's what you. You, you would have, have to, to be record. like Marshall Falk. You would have to have a thousand yards receiving, 
Yeah, and, 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 and about 15 to 18 rushing. I mean, to even that's be considered, ridiculous. like now, that's ridiculous. It, <laughs> that that well, will never. Here's the stupid thing. They that's why they have the MVP and then they have the offensive player of the year. Yes, that's why it's two different awards because we now know through uh, you know analytics and a lot more guys vote based on analytics. Tell you that the court, the, the, if a running back misses a game, who the point spread MVP? doesn't change. And, and, and who were the MVP last year? Last year, it was uh, Mahomes. Mahomes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should have said offensive player of the year. You're right. It's not MVP. I mean, that's would, that's an offensive M- player of the year. Yeah. You can't have a much better season than that. That would be amazing. No. I can't imagine any world where he has 600 right. yards receiving. MVP. But... I, I'm wrong there. Offensive player of the year is what I was. Sorry, give for, me an so. opportunity to bust your balls for a sec. All right, simulation four. Yeah. It's the same 11 and 6 record, a different path here. They beat the Bengals in week 1, they lose to the Bengals late. They beat the Cardinals here in a tight game, Tyve. So this is the one simulation that somehow they Get do beat the Cardinals. Swept by the Steelers. Swept by the Steelers. <coughs> they they do finish 11 and 6. And in this simulation of 11 and 6, Watson throws for close to 4900 yards. 35 touchdowns, but only six interceptions. This is his Look at this Joku. Joku <laughs> with the season oh of all God. seasons. 1,500, mm. uh, 11. That's like a Travis Kelsey season. That mm. is a Travis Kelsey season. And Nick hey. Chubb also with 500 receiving yards in the season. <laughs> <simulation, laughs> Nick so. Chubb is channeling in the spirit of Jim Brown. By the <laughs> way. Hey, listen, let's go. This is, listen, he ready to eat. Know, a, lot of, a lot of these simulations don't got no respect for Elijah Moore like that. No, nah, they don't a lot like of them you. did. David Njoku, by the way, starting tight end on my dynasty fantasy football team. I need that year. I need that year right now. Of course you do. Let's go. By the by the way, um, in 1999, uh, Marshall Falk <laughs> in 16 games had uh, 1,381 yards on the ground. Um, and how many touchdowns was that? Seven touchdowns on the ground. He also added 1,048 <laughs> yards in the air. And he got 103 targets that year. Mm. So he uh, for uh, two two thousand four hundred twenty-nine total yards. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Marshall Falk is awesome. That's crazy. I know he right. won MVP. Go ahead, Mikey. All right, we got three right. more. This next simulation, simulation five. The Browns finish nine and eight on the season. They beat the Bengals in Week One. They beat the Cardinals. They finally crushed the Cardinals, but they lose five in a row from weeks wow. three to week how eight did, here. How did they lose? They, they have them lose a week six to the Man, San Francisco. Know. It's 24 to 24. Is it a tie? <coughs> yeah, like what said, happened? That should be a tie. That's a good point. I did not know. So they're nine, that. seven, and one. Nine, seven, and one. Not only did they lose to Indy, they got blown out by Indy. What do you think? They, Anthony Richardson must going to be that Damn. deal, huh? 42 <laughs> 14. By the way, I, week, week eight at the uh, Seattle. Uh, the Browns, I, I haven't seen the Browns ever win in Seattle. Ever. Yeah. It's hard to win in Seattle. Yeah. yeah. When's the last time they won in Seattle? I feel and like in this scenario, yeah. Deshaun Watson throws for 4,500 yards, 33 touchdowns, five interceptions. That's really good. Chubb runs for 1,200 yards. Cooper, nearly 1,000 yards. And Bull, I think you take this from Njoku again, 880 yards, 10 touchdowns. DPJ, 640 and four. But, yeah, not their best simulation, but certainly not their worst either. The only way Njoku gets that type, he needs to be running Travis Kelsey routes. Like, not these little sit-down joints. Like, you know, turn around, is go five yards, turn he, around. Is he a route runner like that? I feel like he's just athletic, and he uh, just jumps over people. Yeah, he's not really. I don't think his route running is great. And he's one of those dudes that's fast, but don't look fast. Yeah, like, it don't really, fast. he don't really pay that fast. So, we'll see, but, but. He have a season like that. I'm drafting him in fantasy. Speaking of, yeah, that's gonna be a. That's well, you wouldn't know it going in. Yes, that's the, <laughs> the trigger fantasy, right? Well, he would. He was trending that way until he got hurt. He was having a great it's, year. I, here's here's the problem with the Browns. So fantasy love tight ends. He's gonna get. He's gonna try to get him a thousand. We know, like, if you drafted somebody for the Browns and in, in your fantasy, the problem is, a, you don't know what playbook they're running. B, you don't know which was every every uh, quarterback has a guy they develop something with where it's just like I'm just going to throw him the ball regardless. And we don't in them six games. I didn't see a pattern. I I, I didn't see whether it's well, DPJ out, or there's a report coming out today. They practicing the option game right now. Really? They speed, are. We, we did, we did see a little option practice pitch thumb wow. down. Daryl Daryl Ryder <laughs> was on uh, on the radio. He was saying that, that the reason Come that up. they that they <laughs> didn't have uh, they didn't go out and get another running back behind uh, you know Nick Chubb. They got Jerome Ford is because 
Deshaun Watson is going to be used in the running game, and I'm like, that's not why. I, <laughs> I love you, Daryl. That is not what I'm doing. I said, <laughs> I said he's not going to be Darryl, your second. What, what are you talking? About? He's not going to be the second. Kid, he's not going to be the second leading. Uh, he's not going to be the second leading rusher. They did be, it because they want to oh go with the young God. guy, Jerome Ford. Yeah, like it's not <laughs> like the kid they drafted the year before as a third back. What's his name? Felton. Uh, By the way, to G's point, he's right. The Browns all, all time in Seattle are three and eight. Yeah. Want to take a guess the last time? Now they don't play Seattle that often, especially you know. They the last time they beat Seattle. Last was, time they won at Seattle was when Richard Sherman came into the game and they had Charlie Whitehurst. So I would guess twenty twelve. Thirteen. No, Richard. I don't even think Richard Sherman was alive. The oh last time. man, it's been that long. <laughs> well, uh, I know they. I know they're nah, probably alive, but he, he must was, have been in Cleveland that year. Is did they win in the dome? The last time the Browns beat the Seahawks was twenty eleven. In Cleveland, it was 6-3 was the final. Yeah, that's the game. <laughs> and they won in Cleveland in 2007, 33-30. The last time the Browns won in Seattle was in 1989. They won 17-7. Now, they've only played in Seattle three <coughs> times since then, but they've yeah. lost them all. Yeah, they don't. They, yeah, they don't. They don't You're playing in Seattle. Now, it's hard you know, to win in Seattle. I'm just yeah. telling you that right now. And the Browns have been bad yes. for the most part. Yeah. So, All right, we got two more simulations. This is yeah. the good and the bad. We'll start with the bad first. In this one, they have the Browns finishing eight and nine, a bit of a disappointment. A so far, the worst season. is seven and ten, and the best is what eleven. We'll get, we'll get to the best is okay. coming up next. We had a seven in the first swept one, by the Bengals. Yeah. Swept by the Bengals, they win two, lose three, win three, lose three, win two, and then finish out the two season. Two and four in the two division. Is it's the fanski fired after this? Yes. If they lose G. three in a row and they lose to Indy, G, they, he fired after this. It's tough. Yeah, especially uh, when you keep losing to Indianapolis. What is? Man, listen, we lose to Indianapolis. I'm telling you right now. I I, I don't know. I'm going to go to PFF and, and what is happening there and say something to somebody because that's and ridiculous. By the way, are, am I crazy? My eyes are not that good. And this is a small graphic, but is that Rams logo? The Dolphins? No, it's the Rams. So oh, it is. It's the Rams. Is and in my this scenario, <laughs> part of the reason for their streaky success is Deshaun Watson was good, but he threw 16 interceptions. Damn. 4,500 yards, 27 <laughs> touchdowns, 16 picks. Chubb was a monster on the ground, 1,550 yards, almost 2,000 total with nine rushing touchdowns, but no receiver eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark in this season. So, so as far, the Browns. so far, we only had one season where one receiver had 1,000. Oh, no, no, it's been more than no Cooper and Njoku each had a I season could, with Actually, to be truthful, and they tell me they don't I want D-Hop. Hilarious. I don't think it's that crazy. I, 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 hilarious. I could see if, as constituted, I could see them throwing, I throw him, him throwing 16 interception. You know why? It's because these guys ain't really no DPJ. When he, even when he's open, he ain't open. Oh, oh. He, he catch the ball. And oh, it be, it be dudes really? All, it be dudes all over his body. Like, oh. just, just draped like blankets. Mark he Cooper's loves that dig route. He loves the dig route. He's always sly. I'm like, can you catch a ball upright and get you some yards after catch? No. Elijah Moore is, is a smallest receiver. I don't know. Fast. If he's fast, but I mean, how many how many vertical threats yeah, is he right. gonna have? And then Amari Cooper is a route runner. He's not really a deep threat either. So if you just look at that, that means you're gonna have to be fitting the ball in, with timing and placing no, no, it. No, 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 because <laughs> Amari Cooper, he actually is okay after the catch. I mean, yeah. he had a long run. So that whole reason of getting an Elijah Moore or getting a Marquise Goodwin is that you send them on a vertical to get yep. them out of there, right? So what that does is if they're in some type of zone, if a linebacker's carrying that, he's on his horse. What does that do? That opens up DPJ on the dig. Now that linebacker won't be in that hook window because he's got to carry that vertical. Oh. Or on top of that, the safety came flat-footed, so now it's truly a one-on-one -on -one thing. That's what the whole speed of it is about. That's why it matters, but as far as the separation thing goes with DPJ, you're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I would like, if you're going to run somebody off, I would much rather you get ran off and DeAndre Hopkins is backside. Well, I think that, that, that makes a I lot think, of sense. To be honest with you, I think that Elijah Moore or Marquise Goodwin's numbers aren't what they are going to be. I think they're going to be better than what they're predicting mm -hmm. because Deshaun Watson, to me, loves to loves a deep ball. Every he loves to chuck it deep. He did. He did. Well, so still, he, if he's still, he, he's, he's still. Hopefully, he's still. Everybody want to go long. Dang. No, but hopefully, he still can throw the deep ball with the same accuracy. Really? He had used to. That, that's where you at? 
I'm just <laughs> saying if he's – I'm talking – goes back to I, – I think he will, but I, does he have the confidence but, but, in but, making that throw? Like, oh, he did last year. But, but he, he, he was almost, accurate. He almost won a New Orleans game. He but he wasn't – yeah, true. But so he that, wasn't very accurate throwing the ball deep last year. Yeah. And, and I don't see very many deep balls in, in Kevin Stefanski's offense. It like, hasn't been in the past. Like, I haven't seen have, – ask yourself this. Have you seen David and Joku isolated in the middle of the field on anybody – where he goes up and is going to try to contest the middle of the field. Yeah, vertical, twenty-five yards in the. No, he he runs the corner route a lot. That, that's it. He runs hey, a lot of seven cuts. There's a there's a lot of. I just have it sad that I be I be scouting the Browns. I be, I, be, I don't. I <laughs> very dad. I very rarely see those those shot plays where it's like okay we got something here. Dudes right. be sitting down a lot. All right, Mikey, you got one more for us. We have one more, and this one, I think, is the one Browns fans will like the most. I see no flaws in this one. You ready? But Steve before Dickens. we do that, it's 12 o'clock. No, I'm playing with you. <laughs> no, we're going to do that. We're going to do the read after. Let's take this last simulation here, Steve. In the final simulation, how about 14-3 and three for the Browns? Start oh, my the season God. Off with seven straight wins before a loss to Arizona. They stumble at Denver in Week 12, and then lose to Jacksonville at home in Week 14. Other than that, they run the table. They sweep Are the AFC serious? North. What's funny it about is that is – 14 is and 3 the, prediction what is from the PFF. Arizona? What's funny is a team that went 14 to 3, and they would lose to the worst team on their schedule, Arizona, <laughs> and, like, at best, a mediocre team in Denver. That's funny. And uh, in this scenario, Deshaun oh. Watson throws for 4,500 yards, 28 touchdowns, just 10 interceptions. Nick Chubb. Runs for 1,200 yards, picks up 400 in the air for nine touchdowns, and the receiving numbers I got, must be as balanced and I evened out you. as humanly possible. I am a big PFF guy. This is the stupidest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. How would you possibly go 14-3 and three with nobody putting up magnificent stats? Zadarius D- D- Smith has 19 sacks, and, yeah. and Miles Garrett has 24. I mean, Deshaun Watson's stats are, are very good there. But, but they're, they're not like all world. Man. I mean, the, you're telling what you're telling me is that the defense of the Jim Schwartz was the best defense, was the best, best the defense that we've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it better be. I mean, I mean, can people not get the football off? Can I see some of them scores though? Yeah, what are they winning? Uh, like, like nothing like, every game. Like, can, can we see the scores that are like? Because I think some. 13. I mean, those offensive numbers are good, but okay. So well, that's not the point. There you go. 27 10, 24 10, 23 7, 37 10, 21 10. I mean, they scored 20, a lot of points. 21, uh, 29 21. They shut out Seattle. They beat Baltimore 13 6. But 13. the defense is sensational. The dominant. defense is sensational in this simulation. The only games they gave Love up. Love that. They gave up. They gave up twenty to the Bengals in the first game. Twenty-one and a go, win over we Indy. We go to Seattle. They go thirty-five to thirty-five to Arizona. To Arizona. So Twenty-six go, to Denver. But everybody else was getting skunked. Twenty-three to the Jets. Skunk There's Seattle only six games Seattle? where they're giving up even twenty points. So you ask, how do you put up fourteen wins without I a guess. dynamic offense? Is you completely shut uh, down everybody? Uh, to me, this simulation is is silly. That, I'm throwing this one away. And, I'm throwing the seven and ten away. Hold on. Hold the rest on. of them are all between eight and ten wins. Hold on. Is, PFF's grades was so Kool Aidish. My knees are starting to move. Oh, the oh, Duke of knee jerks knee. Oh, the look knees. at my knees. Oh, look the at the knees. knees. <laughs> By the way, uh, y'all is tripping. Y'all's <laughs> knees. You tore two ACLs with that fourteen and three. <laughs> They, oh my God. they went to Seattle Gary and Baxter. won 19 to nothing. <laughs> like, for real? Listen to me. I, you ain't skunking not in Seattle, in Seattle. Like, that, that's I don't even, ridiculous. Ba- Baltimore scored six twice. 19 to nothing. They be, they be, the Baltimore scored six points, Man. and they swept the AFC. Stop. I think Geno's going to suck this year, by the way. I, oh, I do too. I right? don't. Oh, yeah. me. I don't. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't do. think he is. Yeah. He got too many weapons now. He can't suck. Oh, he can be Geno. I think, as a matter of fact, I think I might pick JSC and up on fantasy. I think he's going to have that type of year. I don't know about that, but go ahead. Go Buck. 